Hey everybody, in this video I'm putting out a couple of old pieces of work. Old in that I gathered this stuff together over a month ago, but I got so busy that I wasn't able to put it up in a timely manner. The information is still good though, so I thought I'd put it out there. I apologize in advance for not being as cohesive as my other productions. Now this first section was recorded during the Equinox last month. I put together a demonstration based on Wolfie 6020's concept. Here you go. Hey everybody, it is the day of the Equinox and we're going to do a few experiments based on some uh, demos that Wolfie 6020 put together. Now most of this is going to be done uh, through voiceover because I am currently standing on the roof of my house here at the base of the Oakland Hills. Let's take a real quick look around here. Not going to give you too much information. Don't want you to find me. But uh, we're on the roof of my house and um, if I try to video and talk at the same time, there's a good chance I'm going to fall off because, uh, let's see, there's the backyard right there that you guys have seen before and there's the edge right there. So I don't want to fall off my roof, not on camera. And um, so I'm going to be doing this through voiceover, but I'm going to be doing, a, I have a few things set up here on my roof. Uh, I'm also wearing the t-shirt. And uh, I'm gonna walk you through these things and we're gonna do some uh, demonstrations based on what Wolfie 20, uh, 6020 came up with that are impossible to do on a flat earth model, but if precisely predicted by the globe. So take a look. I've set up this globe the best I can so that it's pointing true north. I've set the globe at an angle matching my latitude of 38 degrees. And that means this marker, the tiny dowel here at my location on the globe, is pointing straight up. I've put additional markers along the equator pointing straight out. Not perfectly, of course, just eyeballing them. And set apart at 15 degree increments. Because it's the equinox, the sun is traveling in a straight line relative to the equator on the actual Earth, and since this model Earth is oriented the same way, the sun will travel in a straight line over this model equator, and the shadows will trace a line along the equator. Well, depending on how accurate my placement is. This is notable because according to flat earthers, the sun traces a circle around the Earth. Well, kind of a spiral, really, and as such never travels in a straight line. So, no model at any time of year should be able to show this. But as you can see, just as predicted, but for my slightly crooked toothpicks, the shadows show the sun moving in a straight line relative to the equator. Whereas in the flat earth fantasy, the sun never travels in a straight line. This next segment is going back to our old friend, Refraction. These are some elements I put together to demonstrate something to a commenter that didn't understand reality. Many commenters don't seem to understand that when the light comes into the denser atmosphere of the Earth from the near vacuum of space, the light refracts downward, making the object appear higher in the sky. The same thing happens in most circumstances with objects already on Earth. Since the atmosphere is denser, the closer you get to the surface, under most conditions, light tends to refract downward, making objects in the distance appear higher up. And while a few people will deny the existence of refraction at all, some have expressed that light refracting down means that objects look lower, and maybe that's why objects look cut off by the horizon. They think that refraction pushes the bottom of objects out of our view when seen through a denser medium. But that's simply not the case. I put this together a while ago to help some people figure that out. You see, we perceive light to be coming directly from an object to our eyes on a straight path. If light crosses into a denser medium in order to reach our eyes, we perceive it as being in a higher position than it actually is. A commenter said this couldn't be shown in reality, so I set up this little demo. I've taken my camera and set it in this container pointing at several objects on the exterior wall of my house. I'm going to slowly raise the water level in this container until my phone camera is fully submerged. 
I will not be moving the camera. Note the position of everything in the camera's view right now. When the camera is submerged, you will see everything in the camera's view shift upward as the light is refracted downward. Let's look at that again. Light traveling in the same medium, light crossing into a denser medium. This is real-world evidence of light refracting downward, making an object appear higher. And to all the people in the comment threads who didn't know this, now you know. All right, I felt really bad about letting those pieces sit around and get moldy. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I hope maybe you learned something you didn't know already. Think critically, people. No one on this planet to even challenge me. Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.